thought that art can be used to express the resilience of the Filipino people. Well, popular search engine Google brings to the Philippines Doodle for Google, an art contest where students recreate the logo of Google to show how they can contribute to nation building. And to tell us more about this, we have today CJ Da Silva Ong, one of the competition's judges. Good morning, CJ. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on Daybreak. This sounds really exciting. Um, so this is the first time that Go Doodle for Google is happening, right? Yes, in the Philippines. Right. Tell us more about this. Um, Doodle for Google has been happening um, across the world. Mm -hmm. So it has started, I think, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically Google asking s children, students, mm -hmm. to actually contribute their artworks. Um, depending on the theme per country. And the theme for this year, for this one here For is, our country, it's what can I do can for I the do? Philippines. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is a concept that they all uh, understand completely? Or do you feel like parang with the situation that we're in, they're not sure how to approach it? What do you think the response has been to the theme itself? The responses were really um, unexpected mm -hmm. because of course, when you hear about the theme, you have your ideas sure, in yeah. your mind. Mm -hmm. But when you see how the children interpreted it, it's really refreshing. Yeah. Because um, you would expect um, from their age, it would be something very whimsical mm -hmm. or very uh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. but. Most of the ideas were realistic wow. and very sensitive of the Our current situation yeah, of yeah. the things that are happening. Especially, there are lots of Yolanda um, oh, related yes. something very close ideas. to, I guess, their you know their lives and what yes. they've experienced and seen. What are the ages of of the people or the children that have joined? Um, there are four categories mm -hmm. um, depending on the age: five to eight, um, nine to 11 mm -hmm. and then 12 to 13 I think and then 14 to 17. Okay so it, it covers all you know and yes. then they have their so, so it's not like oh I'm too young I'm competing yes. with someone who's so much yes, better. Yes, 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 yes. How do you think this competition um, is helping other students who maybe aren't really joining but how do you think this will inspire them to become I guess more proactive in nationalism and being part of the solution? How do you think this is going to inspire them? I think the very theme of the of the contest would make them actually start thinking about the country yeah. and thinking about what they can offer, the change that they want to happen mm -hmm. and for the country and how can they actually start working on it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the best part about the contest is that people actually start thinking. Right. That's what you want to happen, right? You yes. want to sort of nudge people to yeah. start thinking. And these, these works look amazing. These look fantastic and, yes. and fun. Very captivating indeed. Now, I understand there are over 40? Is it 40 finalists or 40 yes. contestants? How did you guys... Was it hard to choose to it, narrow it down? It was really hard to narrow everything down because almost all the, the submissions were good. really good and they were they were different from each other mm -hmm. and everything was saying something mm -hmm. that's not that's very unique mm -hmm. actually we i shared with the other judges my observation that you can actually um analyze like where it came from like yeah. from in the now or from desires oh, or okay. from this on the concerns were interesting like most of the entries from Mindanao, the thing that they value the most would be the, their underwater creatures, oh, wow. the nature, the Philippine mm -hmm. eagle, and then... So it, it echoes their yes. current living situation, in a, a sense, or the current, um, I guess, issues or yes. concerns that they have. Yeah, yes. that's and interesting. Actually, if, I hope you guys like, go to the website. Mm -hmm. Because you'll see, like, even if we're an archipelago, you'll see the different concerns. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice to see the... The bigger picture yeah. when all the puzzles are put together. And then it's you fantastic. can collect the, the ideas of the kids. Yeah. Well, I want to talk about you as a judge. What are you looking for in this competition? Like, What are the criteria that you yourself as a judge will be basing your, your preferences by? We have, like a, we have a set of 
of criteria mm -hmm. that we had to follow. Um, one is the, how they communicated the theme, mm -hmm. um, the artistic technique, and then the last one would be how they um, integrated the Google logo itself. Okay. That it's not going to be drowned out mm -hmm. or it's not going to be too um, too busy. It yeah. yeah. It won't lose the essence. But mm -hmm. for me, as the uh, personally, what I looked for in the entries would be like ideas of innovation, like a little more feature. Nice, that's feature, challenging. <laughs> feature thinking, but a lot of the the entries were innovative. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, how how do um, how do we viewers how do we vote? for the contestants, which ones can we choose from, and how, how do we look at the different choices and entries? Um, just go to www.google.ph um, slash mm -hmm. doodle for Google. Oh, here we go. The information is flashing on the screen now, yes. so what can I do for the Philippines? So it's one vote per age group, so for example, I want to vote. I can, I make a total of uh, votes, four, four votes, votes for, yes. one for each category, yes. okay, and then they can send it to that website and those dates. So November 7th is when you guys are going to choose, yes. right? Oh my gosh, do you have a favorite so far? Of course I have. <laughs> I can't really... Interesting. Imagine. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today. And, thank you. you know, we wish you all the best in all your future endeavors as thank well you. as your own personal ones that yeah, you'll be doing. Thank you, CJ, for thank being you. here this morning. CJ Da Silva, one of the judges of the first ever Doodle for Google.